here. Here, what's going on, everybody? South Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I'm here to represent all my PS3 users. What it be like? What up? You know what I'm saying? Um, I recently seen the QJB video. He was telling people how to get the rosters for Xbox. So I'm here to represent for the PS3 users. Yeah, that's right, Q. We a community too, baby. <laughs> nah, man. Um, I was asking Q a few things about the rosters and different setups and stuff different modes in the games and to tell you the truth all I've been playing is my player I haven't really updated too many rosters um don't mind me I'm just showing you guys my PlayStation store and all that nonsense letting you guys know also my gamer tag for PlayStation is iPod King Carter my gamer tag for Xbox 360 is iPod King Carter everything is iPod King Carter so you know hit me up you know what I'm saying anytime but um basically I want to show you guys how to get these rosters get this 2013 team popping um a lot of people want to see Anthony Davis Davis, of course, you know, the number one pick. But me, myself, man, I want to see Austin Rivers. So let me help you guys out real quick. First thing we're going to go to is features and 2K share. Now, all you got to do is click download if you want to download anything. You can download rosters. You can also download draft classes. Um, you can also download player DNA. Um, and you can also download teams. Like, you know, specific teams, you know, different... Uh, game sliders and stuff like that you know it's, it's all in here but uh let me go back to rosters um what you want to do is you want to click r2 to go to top rated you don't want to go to most downloaded because if you go to most downloaded you'll begin a roster from two, 2011 you know when the game first came out because of course it was the most downloaded so when you go to top rated what they do is they give it by date so if you go all the way up to the top you can see that these rosters just came out you know not too long ago you know a few about, about what two months ago you know right after a couple of the drafts and stuff like that now this guy right here he's the man when it comes to downloading rosters because he's always updating them um if you look he's version 41 this dude is putting in work so what you want to do is just go to rk sounds one um what you want to do is download it save it as any name you want you know you can create a different name uh you can also download it over a 2k share file if that's what you choose but just you know always create new 2k shares because you never know what you download and what you might want later on you know and you might not be able to find it because there's so much stuff being uploaded to 2k share every day now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys what i usually do when i get a new roster yeah i've been i've been playing with these rosters a little bit so you know don't worry about me um the first thing i want to do is i want to go to load and instead of loading a roster you load 2k share because that's what you downloaded you didn't download roster you downloaded 2k share now once that's loaded up you know let me give it a little bit of second you know let it catch up you feel me but uh you want to go back down to options you know you don't want to go to your roster yet you want to make sure it's saved and set in stone so what you want to do is save your roster that's my official roster right there so i'm not going to save over top of that that's the roster 2k gave me <laughs> you feel me so i'm gonna create a new roster i'm gonna save it and all you got to do is remember which roster is which if you downloaded it after your official roster of course it's going to be the brand new roster with the 2k well not 2k 13 but 2013 uh draft class now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in i'm gonna load my actual roster to make sure that both of them are you know right there so as you can see one is 442 and one is 443 so I just made sure I re-downloaded one just so I can make sure that the other one was official and I ain't messed nothing up. <laughs> now we in a roster. You see the sixes. What'd it be like Iggy? You know what I'm saying? 84 overall. Say nah, let, let me stop bullshit. Let me let me give you guys a little bit of proof of this roster. Let you guys see that it's official. Um one thing about it though, Anthony Davis, his overall is crazy, but he don't got the unibrow. Also, it really doesn't look that much like him. So, you know, maybe in the next version update, they'll update his face and stuff like that. You know, I'm going to be downloading these joints all day. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm a, I'm a, matter of fact, I ain't even going to talk about that. That's in another video. But here you go. You got Austin Rivers out here, you know what I'm saying? That look, that look a little bit like him, you know, just a little bit, just a tad. But let me go back real quick, show you guys uh, the actual Olympic teams. You got Spain, you feel me? Um, let me go back to France, you know, Tony Parker doing his thing. 
Let me go back one more. You got Argentina with Ginobili doing his thing. All right, let me go back real quick. That's the 2012 All-NBA team. You got the Dream Team out here. This roster, this is what I really wanted it for, the Dream Team. And you got Team USA. And also, the final thing, the Brooklyn Nets. Now, of course, you know that's not their actual emblem and stuff like that, but that is their team. That's their roster for right now. So, if you want the 2013 Rookies, you want the Brooklyn Nets, you want to start an association, stuff like that. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that. I did want to tell you guys, look at the sophomores and rookies. They're not Kyrie Irving and them. It's Blake Griffin and Stephen Curry. So, somehow, that roster got messed up, whereas, though, the rookies aren't in the right place. So, you know, if you want to try another different roster, go on ahead. I'm not telling you just to download this one. Also, make sure you save your settings because you always want to make sure that everything is saved overall. But, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, guys, it's a lot of rosters on there. I'm not telling you just to download this one roster in particular. You can choose any roster you want. I'm just letting you know that it's available. You know, if you want to start certain modes and things like that, and you want to get your name out there, you know, ringing bells and my player mode and all of that, it is what it is. But also, if you don't like the roster that you currently got and you messed up your old roster and saved over top of it, 2K does have the roster available so you can re-download it. You know what I'm saying? That's with all the final trades and stuff from last season that was done. Um, let me show you guys a few modes that you can play. You can play my player with the new rosters, you know, start it up. Once you start up the mode, the rosters are going to be set, and you can delete the roster after you're done with it. Um, you can do create a legend. You know, I'm thinking about that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I seen QJB do that as well. I'm thinking about that, man. But, you know, IKC, he in the Olympic tournament right now, you know, doing his thing. Um, you can also do the association. You can do season. And you can even do a playoff picture preview, you know, play a couple games, see who makes it to the playoffs with the rookies and stuff like that. And you can even practice, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people don't practice, but, you know what I'm saying, practice makes perfect. That's all I'm saying. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. This is IKC signing out. Um, hit me up on Twitter at iPodKingCarter. That's why I be at if you got any questions. You know what I'm saying? My YouTube inbox be getting crazy full. But I'm out, y'all. Peace.